hi there. Didn't see you come in. Well, I'm sure you want me to show you how to make some great food today. Well, you're in luck. Today we're making pizza cakes. Pizza cakes? What's that? Well, actually, it's pizza that you make in a cupcake tin. That's why they're called pizza cakes. Also, they're a piece of cake to make. That's why they're called pizza cakes. So you're going to make some pizza cakes. Here you go. You're going to need a muffin tin. And before you get started, you've got to wash your hands. Wash them really good. All right, so we wash our hands, and then we can get started. All right, let me dry them over here. You like my kitchen? It's pretty nice, right? Nice things on there. Okay, what are we going to need for our pizza cakes? Here we go. You're going to need a tortilla and something to work on. Yes, tortilla. There's nothing wrong with tortillas. I love tortillas, and I love, um, what else do I love? And what are, I don't know, pizzas, quesadillas, fajitas. So we're going to need some Parmesan cheese. We're going to need some mini pepperonis, really tiny ones, like this. Look at this. So cute. Tiny pepperonis. All right, we're also gonna need, of course, cheese. It's not pizza without cheese. We're gonna need some pizza sauce, also known as marinara sauce. You're gonna need a little bit of oil to oil down that pan with stuff. And you're gonna need a little cutter, a little cookie cutter or a biscuit cutter that's round enough to make tiny little circles that fit in your palm. You're gonna need a little brush that actually helps you spread the oil. Of course a spoon to scoop out any of the things and something like this, something to hold the hot items with. So I think we've got what we need. Alright, so what do we start with first? First we gotta get a flour tortilla. Why do we have flour tortillas? Because flour is also in pizza crust and we're making basically thin crust pizzas. And what you do is you can get your biscuit cutter and you cut little tiny circles in the pizza, just like so. Little tiny circles, and then look, perfect little circle. That will be the bottom of your pizza. And then you actually, on a, one of these eight inch or 10 inch tortillas, you could probably get about five or six. So that's just enough for a family of five or six. So if your group is that much, each one of you will have one little pizza. I like pizza, pizza is really good. Pizza is one of the few foods that it's really hard to make bad pizza. Even when it's bad, it's still pretty good, right? I've never heard it's, it's, so, it's so good, like people even eat cold pizza and it's still somewhat edible. Has anyone had cold pizza? Yes. All right, so let me cut these little circles out, which are delicious and scrumptious. And I think I have just enough for everybody, if you have a family of five, see? So you have right there. And what do you do with those? You're going to put those inside here. But before you do that, go ahead and lightly coat it with oil. That's to prevent it from sticking. It also gives it a little bit of flavor. The best kind of oil to use is olive oil, but you can also use um, any kinds of vegetable oil. You can also use a non-stick cooking spray and spread it on there, too. So just all right, so see, nice and slippery. So if I was a little tiny person in there, I go, and I'd be having fun in there. All right, so here we go. Then we put our little tortillas or bottoms of pizza crust, thin crust, right in there. Now it's going to be thin crust, but you can also make it thick crust if you want. You can leave them thin or thick. If you like a lot of um, crust, then what you do is take these remaining pieces right here and break it up and actually kind of spread it out amongst all these, just like so. Spread, 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 spread. Here we go. Then what you're going to do is you're going to put some pizza sauce on there. So now I've made it a little bit thicker. You can also cut two or three of these tortillas and stack them on top of each other to make them thicker. But I'm just using the excess of this. All right, so then we put a little bit of pizza sauce in each one, just a little bit, maybe about half a spoonful, so just kind of slather it on. Don't put too much sauce, because then it gets really saucy. I don't like this too much saucy. Alright? It's not even a good word. 
Some words that just don't sound right. Saucy. You're being saucy, Bella. What? <laughs> really? It's just a random word that you make up. All right. Uh, here we go. There you go. Then it looks like that. Slathered on there. Ashley, now you're being saucy. Yeah, typical Ashley. Typical Ashley. All right. Here we go. Looks like that. Then you're going to have to spread some cheese on there. And just get just enough that if you were like ripping the hair off a hamster, kind of like okay. that. Okay. Oh my God. Okay, that's a, that's a horrible reference. Yeah. A stuffed animal hamster, and the uh, and Ew. that's still bad. <laughs> All right, fine. That's 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 horrible. Um, what's a good amount of reference that I can make for this cheese? Just a pinch. Okay, like if Ashley was shrunk to the size of this soap bottle, if I ripped all her hair out, that's how much. Uh, that, that's how much we would put on there. All right. Be afraid, Ashley. Here you go. Then it looks like this. Then we put a little bit of Parmesan cheese right on there. Nice, nice bits of Parmesan cheese. And last but not least, we put our pepperonis. Pepperonis, see? They're so cute. It's so tiny candy. pepperonis. You don't have to put them. I don't, I'm just going to put a few because some people love cheese pizza. So we can just leave it just with cheese. Or we can put pepperonis. You can also put all kinds of um, seasonings, flavorings. You can put red pepper. You can put anchovies. You can put all kinds of stuff. Oregano leaves are very popular. They go in a lot of Italian dishes and stuff. And put that on there. It also adds a little bit of color and makes it real festive and fun, fun to eat. So then what do we do there? Okay, so you actually have to preheat your oven to about 400 degrees. 400 degrees. Not 300, not 500, 400 degrees. And then you just, once it's at 400, pop it in there for about 10 minutes. But keep checking on it so you make sure that you don't burn them. Till the Till all the cheese looks like it's about melted, then you will be done and ready. And here we go. Let's go fast forward in time. Oh no, look, they're done through the magic of television. Here we go. Look, and this is what they look like when they're done. Then what you're going to do is you're going to get a spoon or a knife, and you just kind of scoop them out, just like that. Just pop them out. And they're going to be very small, but they're going to be good. Check it out. Just like that. Be careful with this um, cheese. It will melt into the pan, uh, into here. And you're going to have to kind of scrape it off when it's all done. But that's why we put oil so it doesn't actually stick too much. It's actually somewhat easy to pull off. So wasn't that a piece of cake to make, these pizza cakes? All right, so let's take it over to our taste testers, and st let's see if they like it. And this is what it looks like up close for you guys to see. Our beautiful pizza cakes, made super easy. Da -da -da -da. Here you go, there's cheese and there's ones with pepperoni. Let's hope they don't throw up. Do you like them? Yeah. Good job. Does anyone else want any? Yeah. Yeah, two more. Right. 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 Right.